Hello, I'm Nyoko, and today I'm drawing more Animal Crossing Kajinkas. This time it's the cows. Only the cows, the bulls are a separate species. If you haven't seen the previous ones, this is a series where I draw human versions of each Animal Crossing villager in order of my least favorite species to my favorite species. Also, it's only New Horizons characters. <laughs> but yeah, um, I figured out my least and favorites uh, mathematically. Then I also draw the villagers in that species from least to most liked as well. So you can also take these videos as a personal tier list of mine. <laughs> this is the third video in the series and I have a playlist on my channel if you want to see the previous ones. With that said, let's start! <laughs> so my least favorite cow is Naomi, who I gave a score of 1 out of 6. And don't worry, I do my best to make nice designs even if I don't like the villagers. <laughs> I'm not that mean. <laughs> anyway, Naomi is a snooty cow whose picture quote is moo like there's no tomorrow and has the catchphrase moolah. Her skill is photography and her goal is to be a designer. So the reason I don't really like Naomi is mostly her eyes and makeup. Kind of creepy. And I'm not too big a fan 9 times out of 10 if a villager has lipstick. But beyond that, I really like her color scheme. <laughs> Just referring to her base body, you know, it's it's a really nice blue. <laughs> um, when designing her, I kept her dress, which by the way, that sucks to draw. All these funky patterns are going to kill me. <laughs> and I gave her a bob with bangs. With a ribbon headband to represent her horns, I didn't add any stripes for the darker parts. <laughs> I also gave her earrings for her inner ear part, and... Now that her makeup is on a human, I think it looks nice. <laughs> just, just something weird when it's on a cow. It probably also helps that now we can see whites of her eyes and it's not just a black void that's going to steal your soul. <laughs> I thought she would be the type to have bright red nails and I added them to represent her hooves. I gave her some light blue leggings and played with adding a simple pattern. Uh, didn't go too detailed, very simple, just some lines. And I also added what I imagined as similarly colored, strange styled gloves with a small red gl gradient on uh, the only finger that is covered. My doggie was choking. She is okay now. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Um, I think that was about it for Naomi. Um, overall, I think she turned out pretty cute. Here's Naomi. What do you guys think? Am I saying her name right? Uh, I hope I am. <laughs> Uh, the cows only have four villagers, so there's not too many more to go through. With that said, next up is Patty, who I also- who I gave a score of free. There's no twos in this species, so you know, that's cool. By the way, Animal Crossing, please stop naming your villagers after food that you can make out of what the animal is. <laughs> it's so concerning when you're like, oh, this is Patty. She's a cow. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Patty is a peppy villager whose picture quote is, A friend in need is a friend indeed. And her catchphrase is, How now? Her skill is competitive eating, nice, and she wants to be a pastry chef, which I think is really cute. <laughs> and with her house looking like a back backyard, I imagine she has presumably a vegetarian barbecue all the time. Just little get-togethers. <laughs> Uh, Patty's really cute, and when designing her, I tried making her look super happy, and they gave her long, darker brown hair with orange bangs to show off the little orange parts of the hair on her actual design, and I also decided to make her eyelashes a cream color so that they matched her design better, and they pop more, and I love how it looks. I don't do colored lashes often, but when I do, I always like how it looks. <laughs> Maybe I should do it more often, I don't know. I like the, uh the rarity of it. I think it adds to the good looking. I don't know. <laughs> I turned her orange dress shirt. I don't know if that's a dress or a shirt. But anyway, I turned it into a large shirt with a turtleneck collar and I colored it like her horns. By the way, it was a bit of a struggle for the others in general for horns because <laughs> all the cows have bright yellow horns and it fits on Patty since it matches her hooves and her color scheme. But yeah, I struggled with a some of the other ones, because I'm like, why do I have to add yellow? It's clashing. <laughs> anyway, I gave her some shorts, and they made a yellow, like, also yellow, <laughs> to tie in more with the previous yellow bits. How many times have I said yellow while describing Patty? 
Anyway, just wanted to give her a summer barbecue vibe. Um, also really like how the oranges and yellows look with the browns. Very nice combination. And yeah, here's Patty. Hope you guys like her. I love her. She looks super adorable. This whole vo video is a comfort zone of me drawing cute girls since all the cows are female. So, you know, I had a lot of fun with this whole video. <laughs> that said, next up is Norma, who I gave a score of free. Um, as her name states, she is a normal villager with the picture quote, if you, want, if you want what you have, you have what you want. And the catchphrase, hoof who. <laughs> her, skill, her, her skill is karaoke and she wants to be a teacher. I like to imagine she wants to be a kindergarten teacher. I don't know. I think that would be cute. So I kept her dress, which, by the way, is so cute. I love the pastel colors of her design in general, and that dress is just mm, very nice. And I wasn't sure if I wanted her to wear tights at not... At, blah. I swear I can talk. I wasn't sure if I wanted her to wear tights at first, but I did end up adding them and like to add more of the pink that's in her design, and I put a little gradient on the end. Um, I made the dress layered with pink sleeves, and I haven't been pointing it out, but these are cows, and Norma is, in particular has extra info saying that she likes to share dairy products. So that inspired a certain part of her design, along with most of the others. If you know, you know. Anyway, <laughs> um, I gave her a blue, a blue bracelet and admittedly weird shoes since I have no idea how to draw shoes. I really need to, uh, I really need to practice shoes more. But anyway, that was to represent her hooves because, you know, simple. I gave her brown hair with swoopy bangs and cute pigtails. Since if you look at Norma's actual model from the back, she does actually have little pigtails. And I think they're really cute. I also add her blush and gave her a choker to represent her horns. But it honestly kind of clashes and makes me, again, question why do all these cows have yellow and orange horns? Why can't they be different colors? Uh, by the way, when researching her, I found out her name might be because it's the same as someone who, uh, was a lady that made butter statues, including one that was a cow, and she had a nickname called the Butter Cow Lady, I guess. And I just wanted to share you, share that with you guys, because I thought that was interesting, and I thought you might want to know that. Anyway, here's Norma. I think she's actually adorable, and she might be my favorite of the four, so I hope you guys like her. I... She, she's so cute. I love pastel colors. Norma's best. <laughs> Last up and my favorite cow villager is Tipper, who I gave a score of four. Uh, keep in mind, these scores are uh, out of six. So yeah, Tipper's cool, but she's still not like an amazing villager. She's just a little slightly above average. I like her spots. <laughs> she's my favorite for being the most visually interesting, but in the end, she's still a normal cow. So she's actually not a normal. <laughs> Tipper is a snooty cow whose picture quote is, it takes two to tangle, Ta blah. it takes two to tango, I can talk. And her catchphrase is pushy. Her skill is staying up late and she wants to be a violinist. Fancy. Speaking of fancy, her house is pretty sweet and kind of regal looking. Now design wise, Tipper is a fashion nightmare, but I tried to make it work. Her shirt is this funky, admittedly, in my opinion, ugly design, but I worked with it. If you like the shirt, I'm sorry. <laughs> I made it low hanging on her shoulders to, like, low hanging on her body to show off her shoulders and have um, maybe a tank top or a sports bra, whatever you want to pretend that is, showing to uh, represent the color of Tipper's inner ears. I also gave her earrings for her horns, and I had a lot of fun with her hair. Uh, I pity her hairstylist that had to dye it in this weird way, but I made her bangs split dark gray and white with the rest of her hair split white and black. No, white and dark. I, I inversed... It, this is hard to explain, but if you look at the design, you understand what I'm trying to explain. <laughs> I'm so good at explaining things. Um, I also gave her cow print, presumably pleather jeans, since I don't think she'd want real leather. <laughs> and in Animal Crossing in general, they have pleather things. And I designed these based on their New Horizons designs, but I had to add a callback to her new leaf outfit since she had a rainbow shirt. So I'm gonna let her rep her pride still. I struggled, but I tried to make her boots rainbow, but it was kind of jarring and really ugly. So I ended up making them black with a rainbow strip on the top and the bottom being yellow because hooves. 
And I think that works. Uh, again, she's a fashion disaster. <laughs> she has so many colors and spots and stuff. But you know what? Uh, she's rocking it. She's 80s or whatever. <laughs> uh, but yeah, here's Tipper. She's, again, a fashion disaster. But I like how she turned out. I really love her and all the ones I drew for this video. And with that said, who's your favorite design? And who's your favorite cow in Animal Crossing in general? I hope I did them justice. <laughs> I'd love to hear in the comments. Overall, the cows get a score of 2.75. I was mostly neutral on them, with the one exception being Naomi, which I dislike extremely. Um, today's a shorter video since there's only four cows, but I hope you still enjoyed. Uh, thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate if you could like, subscribe, or maybe tell a friend. If you enjoy my art, my Instagram is linked below, and if you want to support me, you can commission me there. <laughs> thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace!